Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rosie and today we are in Loda Marcos. We arrived today from Guadalajara. We got a four-ish hour bus from Guadalajara to Sayulita, which is on the west coast of Mexico, just above Puerto Vallarta. So we arrived in Sayulita. We then got a taxi for about 15, 20 minutes to Loda Marcos, which is where we are currently. We're gonna be here for a week and I'm so excited. I have been missing beach life. Oh my goodness, we spent one afternoon by the beach in Cancun in January and one afternoon by the beach in Tulum in January and since then we've been in the center of Mexico traveling through so we've not had any beach time and oh my goodness I've missed it so much but when we arrived at about 3 p.m. I think it was 38 degrees C outside so we've just been on the phone chatting to my little brother for a little while and I think we're now gonna go out and explore but something interesting is that the time zone changes here so in Sayulita, so it's currently on my phone, it says quarter past four because my phone is on Loda Marcos time. Jeremy's phone says quarter past five because it's on Sayulita time. And apparently throughout the coast, they changed, but a lot of cities stayed the same. So some cities or some towns, whatever, are in central time and then some towns are in Pacific time. Is that correct? <laughs> so depending on what your phone decides where you're at it might be 4 p.m or 5 p.m anyway that doesn't matter but we've just arrived i can't wait to go and run in the ocean and lay on the beach and just enjoy a week of beach time so welcome to the vlog and let's go out and explore okay guys so it's half four my time half five jeremy's time just put on our well my bikini jeremy's put on his swim shorts got our towels and we're gonna go for a swim hopefully on the beach but i thought i would show you around a little bit this one's cute just little juices. It's very beachy here. The roads are not tarmac, so it's very sandy and dusty. But so far, it looks really cute. Okay, so there's a couple of shops here selling bikinis and hats and swim things. It is so beachy with these sort of roofs and different colours and things like that and all the planets and things. So this looks like it's the square. There's the Loda Marcos letters thing. I don't know if you can see because there's some there. There we go. Somebody selling plants. Oh, it's so cute here. Guys, I can see the ocean. We're nearly there. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty here. Also, tiny FYI, if you've come to Loda Marcos, we do not have signal, neither of us on our phones. So as soon as we leave the apartment, we have no access to anyone. <laughs> Obviously we have Wi-Fi where we're staying, so it's fine. But just in terms of, if one of, them one of us comes out alone, we won't be able to contact the other person. So we're gonna have to stick together, what we should do anyway. Oh my God, I can't wait to run in the water. And I also can't wait to lay on the beach. It smells fishy, it smells so good. You know, it's a good place when they've got palm trees. We're at the beach. Oh my goodness, I am so excited. Wow, look at this place. Look at all the palm trees. Oh, I just fucking love being by the beach, man. I love it so much. Look how cute that is. Oh my goodness. I am obsessed. Right, time to go for a swim, I think. Okay, can you see the couple of horses there? There's a brown one and like a darker brown. But we are on the beach. I'm about to go in for a swim. But oh my goodness, this makes me so happy. I can't tell you how happy I am. Yay! Palm trees and beach. I'm so happy. Okay guys, so we have just watched the sunset on the beach. We've had a swim, 
We walked down the beach actually a little bit because the waves were quite big where we were at the beginning and I kept getting knocked <laughs> over by the waves. I think Jeremy found it funny to watch me trying to go in. So we walked down a bit but the waves were still big, went in anyway again. I've also just been reading. I've started reading The Salt Path and it's a little bit close to home I'll be honest. I've only just started but they're talking about how this couple, like the man is quite ill and he's only ever going to deteriorate and she's kind of frustrated by it all and it kind of reminds me of my parents because my dad's kind of in that similar situation in that he's never going to get better he's only ever going to get worse so i'm enjoying it so far but anyway we have enjoyed the beach i feel so happy and so calm and so excited and like so many mixed emotions when i'm at the beach i just feel like the best version of myself which is lovely but we're now going to head back home and hopefully find some food along the way whether that's going to be a restaurant or finding some food and taking it back again like a roast chicken or some eggs something like that so we'll find something along the way but it is so beautiful here i'm so glad we came it's quite expensive the place we're staying for a week i think it's like 400 euros which is way more than we usually spend but i was craving beach time and i'm so glad that we did it because yeah it just feels so nice to be back on the beach again okay so we're heading back through town like so we're going to try and find some food but it's so cute palm trees and just like a dirt path basically Look at these cute doggies. Hi. <laughs> They're like, hi, Jeremy. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. So there seems to be a lot of construction on some of the roads here, but this is the park at night time. There's lots of kids playing with footballs and families and bikes and things like that. So it's a bit dark, sorry, but I was just saying to Jeremy, this is the type of place that I want to find like the equivalent of here in Spain or Portugal, where like you're probably an hour from a main town, there's like a pharmacy, there's a couple of shops, a couple of restaurants, but just a beach town that's really quiet. Like the beach was so quiet, especially at sunset. Like a lot of beaches that I've been to in the past, you know, at sunset it gets quite busy, people drinking or partying and busy hotels and things. I'm not sure if now, it's currently May, middle of May. I don't think this is probably the busy time of year, but it's still really, really quiet compared to kind of what I was expecting. So it's lovely. I would love to live somewhere like this, but just in Europe. Okay, so here's some of the shops. There's an alcohol shop with um, ATM. This one's more like touristy, jewelry, hats, that kind of thing, mugs. This one might be a bit of a supermarket. There's bread outside, pineapples. It looks quite big, that one might be quite good. This place looks so cute. It's got all little lights and palm trees and the sunset and things. That looks like a nice place. Good morning. It is day two. We arrived yesterday. We had a lovely time last night on the beach. I was reading a little bit. We watched the sunset. We came home and then went out for dinner. I think you saw a little bit of that. We went to a restaurant. We usually kind of do like food truck places and like more local places. This was definitely more of a touristy spot. Jeremy had a pozzoli, really enjoyed it with shrimp. And I had a tostada with chicken, which was huge. And it was so watery. Like when I, whenever I took a bite, it just like drenched the page, not the page, the plate even. And I also had a mushroom taco, which was not great. It was fine. It was just really salty. But yeah, so we, um, it was loud last night trying to get to sleep. There's something about Mexican people and playing music until like midnight, but like absolutely fucking blaring. So loud, so inconsiderate. I would never do, do that. I think as an English person, I think I've said this before, but like we're so like, I don't want to upset anyone. Don't want to like disrupt anything. I just would never do that anyway. I think I ended up getting to sleep with the music playing. So I was just so tired. So that was last night. I slept so well. This bed is absolutely huge. So it's basically, a I don't know, probably not a double bed each, but it's a really good size bed. So I slept so well. Didn't feel Jeremy once in the night and then woke up at about half nine, quarter to 10 sort of time. So we're going to pop out and get some food from the shop. I'm thinking probably eggs, veggies, probably some fruits, maybe an orange juice or something. I fancy a juice at the moment. Um, so we're going to go out and grab some things. So I think I will show you around a little bit and then we're going to spend the day working. We figured out that basically we need to, I need to swap hands. <laughs> we figured out basically that we need to get up early in the mornings, probably like half seven, eight, go to the beach and have a swim and then come back by like half nine, 10, because that's when it'll start to get hot and then go back out at like 4 p.m. or something for sunset, because I think just during the day, it will just be far too hot and we have sun cream. I just think I will burn, probably not burn with some cream, but I just think it'll be too hot. So yeah, we're thinking that. But what's funny is because of the time difference thing, um, we've set our phones manually to 
the time that we were on beforehand. So for us right now, it's like 10 a.m., whereas on other things, it's like 9 a.m. And the weather app is an hour behind. So in terms of the sunset, so the sunset is at half six, or actually it's at half seven, because last night it was at half seven. The things like the UV index and things like that is like an hour behind. So we have to be careful in terms of looking at what time we're doing things. So this time difference thing is very confusing. Anyway, let's go out and get some food. Okay, guys, this is the outfit I wanted to show you. So I'm just wearing my um, Teva or Teva sandals. Um, these shorts are from H&M. I bought them last year in Malaysia. This top is from Sri Lanka from some random little shop. This bag is from Thailand or somewhere. No, Malaysia, I think, from a market. You can get similar ones, actually, on Uniqlo. And then this hat I got from Peru before we went to the desert, before we went to Huacachina. And it's really not cute, but it's my, like, Dora the Explorer hat, I call it, but it's great for going out in the middle of the day because it keeps my neck covered and obviously my whole face. So I'm hoping my shoulders won't burn. I haven't put cream on them. Um, I don't think we're going too far. I think it was just a shop up the road. But yeah, this is, <laughs> this is my, like, full-on tourist mode. So it's a little bit dusty here. This is a white car. Yeah. Okay, so the first place we've come to is a veg shop. They've got all the things out here all out here and then it's all covered by shade which is brilliant but I think we're just going to be looking for food for savoury food and probably also some things for smoothies and some fruits and things but they've got a lot which is amazing the watermelons here are absolutely huge like that one is ginormous okay let's have a look inside we've got mangoes onions <laughs> limes more limes, more onions. I don't know if these are cucumbers, um, tomatoes, and then there's even more down there. And then there is like an actual shop here as well. So there's kind of jars of food, sauces, um, coffee, tuna, juices, all that kind of thing. There's actually quite a lot here, which is good. And then there's two more rows here of more fruit and veg. And then there's things in the fridge that side as well. So there's um, baby tomatoes, which is cute. We've got broccoli, mushrooms. Oh, peppers, I love. Blueberries. Yeah, the mangoes don't look great. Drinks and what else have we got here? Tortillas, tortilla chips, like tostada things. And then back there is, oh, it looks just like um, bags of seeds and nuts and things like that. So that's a cool shop. So it's currently about 5 to 11 and we have decided we're going to go to a ceviche place. Hopefully it's open for some brunch. Um, Jeremy spotted it on Google Maps and it looks yum and I love ceviche and obviously the fish hopefully should be fresh because we're literally next to the seaside. So this is the place we wanted to come for lunch. I've got a feeling we're going to come back about five times and it's never going to open. Maybe they're like away on holiday and just haven't told anyone. I've just got a feeling that's going to happen. Anyway, so we're getting like eggs and veggies then. Something like that, I guess. Look how cute this is. So I was just saying to Jeremy that this is like the good amount of developed. There's like enough shops, there's enough kind of clothes and restaurants and pharmacies and things like that. But it's also not too developed where there's like, you know, parties going on and big groups of tourists and things like that. There's a couple of tourists. It still feels really, really local, which is lovely. So it's sort of developed enough, but not too developed, if, if that makes sense. It's not too popular, which I think Sayulita might be the issue there and it'd probably be too busy. But yeah, it's lovely. Anyway, so the restaurant was closed. We're going to get some veggies from this other place, which is like the main supermarket of the town, basically. So this is where we're going to get some food. They've got everything outside, mangoes and things like that. I'd like to try one of these because we always have these ones which we like, but I would like to try one of these ones. God, the music just stopped. Bananas, beans, um, plantains, dog food, <laughs> tomatoes, onions, everything there. And then the inside actually looks quite big as well. I think they've got like cheese and milks and just everything really.
Hi guys, today is Saturday. I did vlog a little bit yesterday. I'm not sure how much I actually spoke to the camera, but I did get some video clips, so I hope you enjoyed that. Today we have, we slept in this morning rather than getting up and going to the beach. I think we might go up a bit earlier tomorrow and enjoy the beach a little bit. But we basically spent the day working inside. I've been editing a video from Oaxaca, which has been great. But I thought I would show you here. I brought a mic just in case I wanted to, in case I saw anything fun. And guess what, I've seen something fun. So we got on the beach and turned right. And then here there is a lagoon and I thought I would show you because it's, yeah, it's really cute. It's really kind of unexpected and I think if you didn't actually physically walk down here you wouldn't really know it was here, like it's not obvious. So let me just show you. So the beach is obviously over there with the sea that side and this is the lagoon. And it is so pretty with the palm trees, there's loads and loads of birds over there. If I zoom in hopefully you can see them and you've got the mountains in the background and just the greenery and the water and it's beautiful. Jeremy just said it's probably a place where, <laughs> where there's alligators or crocs which I probably believe so I don't want to get too close to the water but yeah I thought this view in particular was just gorge. So there's these marks on the floor here and we're not sure if they're turtles either baby turtles or mama turtles. Do you see like this almost like a tire track or maybe it is a tire track <laughs> like a bike or something but there's a few of them, like there as well. Let's see where this one goes. Don't know. Does anybody know if this is turtles? Let me zoom in. Or if it's just a bike or something, because we have no idea. Okay, let me show you some of the wildlife. So this is a somewhat heron. I don't think it's an actual heron. And then at the back there, you can see the bird spreading its wings, the black one, that's drying out. And then over here, there's loads of these ones which are really interesting. They've got like a red beak and red feet, but then they're white and black. I have no idea what they are. And there's a couple of things splashing in the water. Whoa, I guess it's just fish. Okay, so we've kept walking and you can see all the blackbirds in the tree there. And then sometimes it either sounds like frogs or pigs. It's like a grunting sound. It's not there right now, but if it's there again while I'm here, I'll film it so you can listen. But it's nice to have so much like different nature rather than just the ocean. Can you hear that? So there's also some tiny yellow birds, like yellow and black, which um, I don't know if I'd be able to film them to be honest because they're quite quick and they keep, keep zipping around everywhere, but they're quite nice to see as well. So something about Mexican people, they might be loud, they might love to party and play their music incredibly loud, but they are so nice. Every time you see someone, you say, Buenos Aires, which is like good afternoon. Everybody says it back. They're so polite, so nice, so friendly. <laughs> so it's nice. So I think this might be somebody's house. There's obviously shelter and then like some sort of bed with cardboard and a motorbike. So oh, look at this guy. There's always these on the beach. I don't know why they don't survive as well as the other fish, but there's always one of these. Okay, this proves my point. There's another one here. I don't know why these fish always get swept up on the shore and can't decide to get back in the water. Let me know if you know. There's people fishing here and this guy has just caught a big whopper. No idea what it is. Let's go and have a look. We'll investigate. <laughs> look at that. That is a big boy. So we're still walking down the beach. The beach is getting smaller and smaller. And there's all these rocks on the side with these like dry trees. And then the water on the other side. There's a lot of people fishing. Well, a lot of people. There's about five people fishing. There's that guy there. And then one, two, three, four people here. There's a lot of ceviche here in this town, a couple of places, so I'd like to get some while we're here because I think the fresh would hopefully be fresh. You would hope so anyway. So I think that might be one of my meals in the next couple of days, get some ceviche. Okay guys, there's a third one. What the heck is wrong with these fish? Why can't they just stay in the water? Wow, there's literally no one here. There's two people right the way down there at the end. But otherwise it's free and it's so nice. So we're just walking past this thing. It's obviously bloated, but I think it's a moray eel. I mean, obviously it wouldn't be that fat usually, 
Yeah, I think it's an eel. That's huge. That's really, really big. So I'm sorry if you clicked on this blog and have now seen four dead fish. <laughs> this is not my normal content. It's just what we happened to see, like happened to see today. So I apologize for the dead fish. I'll try not to show you any more. Although I can't make any promises because I probably will. Okay, I literally just said I wasn't going to show you any more dead fish. There's a fourth one of these. Four. What is wrong with them? Okay, there's another one. This is fish number five. That all these spiky ones, they puffer fish. All five, apart from the moray eel, have been this. There's been five of these, one moray eel. What is going on? Oh God, what has he found? What is it? Oh. Yeah. Oh, it's covered in maggots. I have no idea what it is. Oh my God, guys, I'm so sorry. I'm showing you this. What the heck is that? Turn it over again. What the heck is that? Oh my goodness. Yeah, what on earth is that, guys? Please let me know. Okay, I'm sorry about the dead animals, but what the heck is that? There's another one. I cannot figure out what that is. Look fine, look from here. Yeah, it sounds like a porcupine or hedgehog or something, because there's loads of spines. But then the body is just like... Yeah, the body's mush. No idea. Okay, we've come almost to the end, where there's a couple of people there and a dog. And there's the rocks and the waves. It's so nice also watching the pelicans, because we used to watch the pelicans in Miami when they would dive. So it's really nice to watch them again. Okay guys, the nature show has not finished. I can also see crabs, so I thought I'd go and show you. So I don't know that you'll be able to see any of them. I can't see one right now. Yes, on the edge there, just there. Can you see the crab? There's one here somewhere as well. Oh, here maybe as well, there's one. Somewhere around here there's a couple. Good morning, it is 8am our time, also could be 7am, <laughs> but it's 8am, we got up early this morning because whenever we go to the beach in the afternoon it's already way too wavy and you just spend so much effort getting in and then you get pounded <laughs> and then you have to basically run out before you get annihilated by another wave. They don't look that big on video but they actually are really big when you're in the water. So. We've gotten up early today because today and Tuesday are the two days that we don't have calls in the mornings so that we can go and hopefully have a swim. I'm hoping it's going to be nice and calm and flat and we can actually just enjoy the water without getting smacked in the face <laughs> with a wave. I do have a couple of Cremax, like wafer biscuit things. I've been buying these here in Mexico and they're one of my favourite treats. They are delish. So I've got two of these for a mini breakfast and yeah, I'm excited. Hopefully it's nice and calm, so I'll show you when we get there. So again, there's lots of construction on the roads, but it is nice and quiet apart from the big trash <laughs> truck thing, whatever you call it, rubbish truck. So we're just gonna go down here to the beach. We'll be there in two minutes. Wow, it's nice and calm. There's tiny little waves, but I'll actually be able to swim, which is gonna be lovely. Okay, there's just a big wave. <laughs> no, I think it should be fine. I think it also might be cold because it's not obviously boiling right now. But we'll see, that's nice. It's better anyway. It's better than it has been, which I think is a good thing. Okay, this is it. These waves are smaller, but 
but they do still barrel a little bit like that. But it looks calmer to me. We'll see when I actually get in there. So, Jeremy is going back to sleep. He has brought his drone though, so hopefully I'll get some drone videos later on. Yeah, it's not as calm as I was hoping. When we lived in Miami, if you came in the mornings before like midday, it would literally be like a lake. It was so calm and so flat. So if you wanted to do actual swimming, we would go in the mornings, but otherwise in the afternoons you could go and probably have some waves. But here, it's, there's still big, big waves. <laughs> big boy waves. I don't know, they're just, they're not huge, but they just are bigger than I would like when swimming because it really does smack you in the face and it gets in your ear and you probably lose your sunglasses and all the rest of it, so not great. so I have been rubbish at vlogging I apologize but yesterday we ended up seeing a friend so there's a woman called Molly who's got a yoga studio here called La Eremita um, she does yoga classes she's a yoga teacher on Jeremy's 200 hour yoga teacher training so we met up with her which was really nice and then we were just getting work done and basically the last couple of days we've either been in the bedroom because we've got AC getting work done or we've been at the beach and it's basically the same thing that I keep showing you like just the beach so today for lunch we actually went to the ceviche place we asked Molly the woman who lives here and she asked one of the like family members of the person who owns it and apparently it was closed because of Mother's Day on Friday so it was open today so we went I scoffed it down didn't take a photograph I think Jeremy took a couple of pictures which I'll pop on screen but it was absolutely delicious it was 145 pesos for four tostada ceviche it was delicious and today we have decided to go to Sayulita. So we originally wanted to go to Sayulita rather than Lord and Marcos but they are having a pa like an epidemic or whatever you call it of norovirus which basically is sickness and diarrhea and it's caused like by passing it through the air from touching things from eating contaminated foods. So we didn't stay there we've been staying here instead but I would like to go and see it. So this is risky business because it's all over the internet that like people in Sayulita are getting ill but I do want to go so we're going to be very very careful. I have got some hand sanitizer with me we're not going to eat anything we're not going to drink anything we're not going to touch anything we're going to use hand sanitizer we're not even going to go in the water to go for a swim so we're going to try and stay as safe as possible so that hopefully we don't get ill but i do feel like we should see it seems like it's 10 minutes away and it's like one of the not like famous places of mexico but i've definitely heard of it before so i would like to see it we're just gonna to have to be very very careful so that is going to be today let's get going and hopefully not get sickness and diarrhea Okay, so I'm just in my comfiest outfit. I have basically lived in this when we're at home just because it's so comfy. I've got on my shorts from oh, Crazy Yoga, something like that on um, Amazon. This is a H&M men's t-shirt in a large. And my bag and sandals and then my cap as well. So I'm not going cute. I'm not hoping to get like cute pictures. I more just want to protect myself from the sun, protect my shoulders. I've put cream on my legs as well because I went for a walk the other day <laughs> and burnt my legs. So I've put cream on my legs as well. So I'm just trying to stay protected and comfy basically because we're not going to be like, it's not a fashion show. So let's get going. Okay, so we have walked the length of the city or town or village, whatever it is. It was about 10 minutes to get to the main road. We are waiting outside of the OXO to get the bus. Now there's not an actual bus stop here. There's just a bit of space for a bus to park. So we think it's here that we need to wait. So I'm still outside waiting. Jeremy has gone to get us an ice cream. I asked him to get me either a lemon or lime one or a chocolatey one. So we'll see what he ends up coming back with. But yeah, we're just gonna have to wait here now until the bus comes. So I've no idea how long it's gonna be. I will let you know. <laughs> Wish us luck because it is fucking hot. Okay, so we have arrived in Sayulita. We just got dropped off. The bus came just as Jeremy was paying for the ice cream. So I had to run to the shop and be like, Jeremy! And he like ran out and it was fine. The bus cost us 40 pesos each, so 80 for both of us. And it took about 20 minutes to get to Sayulita. And so this is the entrance way. So we were dropped off a little bit behind me. I've walked at like two minutes, so not far at all. And we're basically gonna have to walk through town to get to the beach. So we're walking into town. I thought this was definitely one way to display your um, goods that you're selling. <laughs> Quite creative hanging it all from a tree. 
Anyway, we're walking down the road. There's an intersection, so we turned right, and I think this is a quicker road to get into town. So we are arriving into town. I thought I'd give you a quick little glimpse. There's a road going down and up, and I think at some point it's all pedestrianised. So I'm hoping to find that, so we'll keep going. So when I looked on Google Maps before we came, I just kind of wanted to see if it was worth coming, if I'm going to get ill. I'm like, is it worth coming or not? I said to Jeremy, it looks like a sort of Changu in that it's quite touristy, quite colourful, lots of plants, probably things like tattoo pars and that sort of thing. And it, it's definitely got that sort of vibe. So we've been to Changu, very similar. I wouldn't say exactly the same, but similar, similar kind of vibe. So like this place, for example, could 100% be somewhere in Bali like a hundred percent with the roof with the greenery with the decorations this could be bali okay so this is cute somebody has also just asked jeremy if he wants some weed or blow <laughs> everybody tries to sell jeremy drugs which is yeah. funny so i've just come into the shop i asked in the video and she said yes but they have gorgeous gorgeous glasses i saw some similar to this in uh, Tulum and I really really liked them but these are so nice they're 170 each 160 160 but they're like like these ones in particular looks like pebbles so pretty and they've got loads of different colors and loads of different designs like that one's like physically bobbly that one's multicolored they got black and white ones so so pretty I think these are so nice like these ones are lovely this is my favorite I think they're quite heavy but gorgeous. I would totally have some of them in my home. And I've also got smaller ones for 150. This is more of like a like a wine glass size, I guess, like a little orange juice or something. We've also got shot glasses, I think these are, which are really cool as well. Like how cool is that in different? Like I think it'd be really cool to either get a matching set or actually get lots of different ones. And then on the other side they've got these which are more like wine glasses and then like cocktail glasses a little bit, some of them. So yeah, really, really cool. Like these are like a, is that like a margarita glass? I'm not a cocktail girl. But yeah, I think these are so cute. So, so nice. Guys, I touched things I knew I would. I went through that shop and like touched loads of glasses. So I've just put hand sanitizer on my hands. But yeah, definitely reminds us of Changu. There's like a rip curl shop. There's like yoga classes, there's spas, there's surf groups. It's like very touristy. Really cute if you want to come here for like a week's holiday, like holiday holiday, like cheap vacation. Lovely. Not super our thing these days, but it's nice. I'm glad we came anyway. I just need to stop touching things. I wish Jeremy said things when I'm filming. He just said, yeah, a barefoot guy selling rocks. This is definitely Changu. <laughs> and there's some guy selling, you know, like um, crystals and all that sort of thing. So Not funny. Rocks. So funny. <laughs> Guys, it's so busy. Where we are, there's literally no one on the beach, and here it's absolutely full of deck chairs. People surfing during the waves, people getting massages. It's so busy. Guys, it is such a different vibe here. I'm so glad we're staying in Lodo Marcos and coming here for a day versus the other way around because it is so different. It's cool, it's a cool vibe. But yeah, Jeremy's got off of drugs again for the second time in about half an hour. <laughs> Hence why it's so different because in Lodo Marcos it's so quiet, there's no one. And then here you can get drugs just given to you. So that's fun. If you told me you were in Bali, I'd believe it, would you? Yeah, there's some Spanish words here and there, but otherwise, like, there's casa rather than whatever it is in Indonesia. But otherwise, it's basically a small town in Bali. <laughs> Which, by the way, I'm not saying is a bad thing because I really enjoyed Bali. So if you enjoy Bali, could be a good place to come. If you didn't enjoy Bali, might be a place to miss. But I would recommend staying in Lodo Marcos or somewhere smaller and then coming here for a day trip rather than having the constant, like, noise and hustle and bustle of people when you're at the beach because that's not really what I go to the beach for personally. 
but yeah it's nice it's nice to walk around I'm really glad we came really beautiful lots of like beach bars and beach clubs and restaurants and yoga and beach babes, beach babes. <laughs> and um, nice properties nice architecture that's something I really liked in Indonesia was all the nice architecture so it's very similar here in that respect as well like this one for example this one's really cute it's got the bar there that's open and then tables and the lights and just the view out to the ocean so it's lovely So we've walked along to the very end and we've basically walked into a hotel called Amor Hotel, I think it's called. And there's like signs outside but the gate was open so we thought, oh, we'll just walk through. Just see, Jeremy's now just like fully set himself up, made himself comfy. But it's one of those where if you just walk in confidently, no one stops you because obviously if you are a guest, you don't want to stop guests from walking in and feeling comfortable and things. So if you just walk in confidently, you can pretty much get into any hotel. So this is where I would recommend staying. If you've got some money, I have no, I have no idea how much it costs but you're like close enough that you can walk into town in 10 minutes but you're also far enough away that you can't hear the music and people and things like that it's lovely here they've also got a nice rocky beach area and they've got some nice seats on some grass overlooking the ocean as well so this is probably where i would recommend staying actually okay guys i stopped vlogging so i was busy chit chatting with jeremy but we are currently walking through a town i don't think we're going to be much longer because it's so loud <laughs> Because we're not going to go swimming, we're not going to eat or drink anything. I think we're just going to have a quick walk through, see you know a couple of the shops and things like that. But then we'll probably head back because I'm dying for a swim in the ocean. So I actually can't wait to get back already. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is so cute. This also reminds me a little bit of Ibiza with all the white buildings. This is so pretty. Guys, this is a cute shop. It's called Manana. <laughs> I'm just gonna, not going to go in. But it looks cute, they got like clothes and ceramics and bags and different things. Keep Sayuli to funky. I think that's really cute. Okay, and then this is the square of Sayulita where there's the letters. And of course there's a queue of people getting a picture of the letters, so I'm going to have to do that. Sorry Jeremy. There's these yellow things hanging in the trees. Of course there's some cars and buses and things, but that's really cute as well, having it all open up there like that. It so reminds me of Bali. This looks cute. It looks like that's the church of Sayulita. That's lovely. But I thought I'd have a quick look around the square and kind of show you around as well. So there's a couple of market stands and people selling things. There's lots of greenery. There's a tattoo place here. A couple of shops and bars and restaurants. That kind of thing. That one is sushi. Um, that one looks really cute as well. It was like a really, really nice holiday destination. So like I said, a couple of different stands selling bags and hats and jewelry and that kind of thing. These are typical in Mexico. I've seen these everywhere. I actually think they're really nice. Probably not those colors, but they have more muted ones or just one color ones, which are nice as well. And obviously the embroidery as well, which is very popular here in Mexico. Magnets, can't go wrong with magnets. And then yeah, this cute tree with lots of yellow things and I don't know the significance of that. Also, if I was just here on holiday, 1000% would either get a watermelon bag or a pineapple bag. I think that is the cutest thing ever. That one's actually nice as well, rather than oh, the strawberries. <laughs> but that one's actually nice. I love those colours. So they do have some really nice things here and baskets as well. Okay, so this is another one of the touristy roads where everyone's getting selfies. That's so funny. I try not to film them. Um, but it's really cute with the palm trees and with the papel, pique, whatever it is, like the picked paper thing. But it's so cute. This is like a typical thing in Mexico to see that. And there's street vendors as well. So let's have a little look. I literally didn't know where Jeremy had just gone. And of course he's playing with the dog. This is so cute. This is so, so cute. That's just Jeremy talking to the dog. Just ignore that, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, they got... um swimwear that's cute oh it's nice guys i just love being by the beach i love the weather i love the clothes i love the jewelry i love the music i love the vibes like i am such a beach girly i love it so much okay this bar is a vibe i think that's really cool this is one of the streets okay guys so we're gonna head back now we're gonna walk to the bus station now get a bus home probably eat some fruit because I could do a little bit of a sugar rush and it's just so good here and then probably go for a swim on the beach 
Something I did notice, the waves were a lot smaller here, so easy to go for a swim. I'm glad we came, definitely. It's the opposite of what I've read online. <laughs> yeah. There was people trying to surf, but there was just not enough wave at all. But I'm really glad we came, definitely worth coming to visit, especially if you're in the area. Yeah, I liked it. It definitely feels like a Mexican changu. Again, not a bad thing, I keep repeating myself, but yeah, very touristy, but in a good way. I enjoyed it. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was fine. Hello. You're pretty. Hey, buddy. Uh -huh. hey. Hi. Yes. Tall horse. guys don't think I filmed yesterday we're probably busy working I don't even remember but this morning I went to the beach on my own and I think it's the first time since we've been in Mexico apart from when I flew home that I've been out on my own and felt safe and felt okay well it's the first time I've been out on my own full stop but also I felt safe and okay so that was nice to kind of have some time on my own went for a swim we got absolutely annihilated by a wave <laughs> until I put my hand on my face to hold my sunglasses and my hat in place so I didn't lose it. The waves here are quite strong so you have to be careful. But today we are about to go out for ceviche. Now we've been the past three days in a row because it is so delicious. It's a place we went to at the beginning of the week and it was closed and I said to you I bet this place is always going to be closed. It was actually only closed because of Mother's Day which is fine, fair enough. And we've been the past two days, we're going again today because it is so good but I've not shown you so I thought I would show you today because it is delish. It's like ceviche on tostadas, so good. And I thought I'd show you my little outfit today. So this is like a huge oversized, I think it's like a size 18 um, from M&S linen shirt that I love to wear usually over a bikini. And these shorts are actually M&S as well. I recently bought these in the beige colour as well because they are so lightweight and so comfy and so nice. So I'll have the green and then the beige. But I've just tied it in the front here, which I've tried before a couple of times. I never really like it, but for some reason today I think it looks cute. <laughs> so this is the outfit. Anyway, let's go and get some ceviche. Okay, so this is the restaurant. It's called Martita. I'm probably saying that wrong. Again, it's been our third day here because we love it so much. So I'm hungry today because yesterday when we came, we had smoothies in the morning. I think the day before that I had fruit in the morning. Today I've had absolutely zero. Like I've had some water and a tiny bit of chocolate and that's it. So yeah, I feel like the last couple of times we've come here, we've eaten something in the morning. So we've not been like starving. Whereas today I've had zero, so I'm starving. So I've just ordered one fish without mayo and one camarón, which is prawn. And I'm probably going to do that twice because I'm hungry today. But it is so fresh, so delicious. And I'll show you when it arrives. Okay, so this one is the pescado, which is fish, and this one is the prawn, and it is so good. So we're going to enjoy this, and then, like I said, I'll probably have a second one <laughs> later as well. Okay guys, so we are about to leave Lodo Marcos. I'm actually sad about leaving here. I really, really liked it. I really obviously love the ocean. I like the heat, I like the shops, but I like how kind of rustic it is here. Like there's no paved roads, there's no clubs and bars and that kind of thing. It's, it's touristy, but without being like super touristy like Sayulita. So I really, really, really enjoyed it here. Definitely would come back. Definitely have thought about buying somewhere, <laughs> but it's anything you find online is like $250,000 because it's obviously aimed at the US market versus the Mexican market. So I think you'd have to come and like, talk to locals and things like that but yeah would 100% come back for six months a year and just chill here by the beach I'm such a different person I'm just more relaxed here on karma and I'm just a different person and I loved it so we're now gonna head to Puerto Vallarta so I'll see you there for the next vlog